everyone's asleep. Or in bed at least. So hopefully no interruptions. Let's make our way out. To the garage. Indoor course stored up in the air for now. Which is quite nice. Because it gives me my garage back when I'm not using it. And here we are to this mess. <coughs> it's not that messy, but got a little project going on here. Installing the uh, Charisma MSA 1E aluminum oil shock set. I've got one put together for a test run which went pretty smooth but as most of you uh, fellow RC YouTubers know once we start filming and trying to show off our skills that's when the errors happen but let's see what we can do Charisma MSA 124 scale aluminum oil shock set assembly what up guys, A-Rod's RC here <clears throat> in the shop working on the Charisma uh, MSA aluminum oil filled shocks. I got one put together so far. I'm gonna show you guys my process on, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus on a little bit, on how I put these together. I don't have the recommended 25 weight shock weight that they were talking about. I had some um, shock fluid in one of my RC tool bags. Figured I'd use what I got. I don't see a huge difference. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Let's uh, let's put one of these together. Alright, so we got our finished product there. Got our instructions here. You, uh, you know, I'm not like long time, years and years RC or uh, I got these shocks and they've been sitting on my <coughs> workbench on my pegboard in the package for at least a month now. Uh, don't know why, I was just a little intimidated by them. Um, they seem to be the most complicated uh, shocks so far that I've got, aftermarket shocks that I've gotten so far. Um, and honestly, it, it hasn't been that hard to uh, put it together. Bigfoot over here chilling with Bigfoot. What's that in the background? We'll talk about that later. And now let's look at these shocks. So, they come with the ends on. This is how they come. No oil, just kind of put together somewhat. You got your bag of parts over here. These tiny, 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 tiny little rubber washers uh, you're gonna need those to prevent some leaking I'm assuming uh, a uh, fellow RC channel upper left RC um, put these together and I think he had some trouble with these leaking uh, to make sure I think I think he might have forgot to put those in so I can't remember I have to rewatch the video uh, hope to see you back soon upper left we're waiting but anyways you got your springs so I've already taken this one slightly apart so you got all this you need to take off this little end piece here That 
comes off. And it says to uh, grease this little guy here. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think it prevents uh, the little bit of tension that could possibly be there. That thing is tiny. It's super easy to lose. Uh, so just be careful with that. I did have a toothpick. But instead we're going to use this guy. Just a little. What I have here is some white lithium grease. Here, let me get that. Actually show you guys. White lithium grease. I just put a tiny, tiny, tiny little dab on there. Basically you just touch the, the, the washer. It sticks. And that's enough for it because you really just need a tiny amount of grease for that. Go ahead and slide that on. That's going to go on there. It then tells you Put this little piece back on. Which connects to the top part of the shock. Tighten that back up. tells you to add some shock oil uh, this is 30,000 weight so I'm just using what I got this was used for my Revo that I got a while back it's just been sitting in my bag so I'm gonna let's see if I can I'm going to gently apply a small amount so that we're not going to overflow it all just be patient so you don't make a mess just be patient I got the fan blowing in the background but that was decent that was decent it tells you to pump the shock a couple times to uh, remove the bubbles so you have to do it slowly The other shock I put uh, two drops. Kind of just let this settle a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more little drop. And the Charisma is one of my bouncier trucks. Um, I was going to put this on the RGT and put the Yeah Racing on the Charisma. But, you know, these are for the Charisma. I'm just going to do this. What I'm going to do for a lot of my other rigs is... Uh, Hobby Plus, the Hobby Plus CR24 aluminum shocks are where it's at. I put those on my element and they're not picky on who they go on and they're a good little shock. We're going to see how these are. They seem legit, like nice and smooth. Uh, so hopefully it'll prevent some of that bounciness that the Charisma has. 
All right, got that there. Next, it calls for one of the bigger washers. Should go on top here. Put that on there. And it says to go ahead and add your top piece. Top it off. And it has the actual stopper plate for you there. So that's that's a nice feature about these shocks. These are actually really nice. These are really nice shocks. Um, they feel probably the best out of all of them. So far I've had the the uh, Hobby Plus, I've had the Yeah Racing, and I think that's it. But these these are like these are nice. These are quality shocks right here. I ain't even gonna lie. These are these are top quality. I would say I don't have experience with a lot of these twenty four shocks, but it's they're all metal. Everything on them is metal. Um, not to say that others aren't, but these just they have a feel to them that's just nice. They're real nice. I'm going to go ahead and use the springs that they came with um, instead of the stock shocks. It's got a little adjuster on there so you can play with the tension on your spring. So we're going to put this bad boy on. Put the bottom piece on. says to thread lock um, I'm not going to do that just yet Let's go. get my precision pliers give it one more good twist there we go charisma MSA oil field aluminum shocks and I must say, these are nice. These are really nice. Check those out. Get a good focus on them if, if I can for you. And they actually they weren't that hard. I don't know why I was tripping. But they weren't that hard. Uh, next, we'll be putting them on the Charisma. Um, after I put the rest of these shocks together, that'll I'll put the shocks together tonight, and tomorrow we'll put them on. Got some other videos coming out before that, so yeah, there it is, Charisma MSA <coughs> aluminum oil shocks assembly. Let me know if, I, if you think I did anything wrong, if you think I should switch the shock weight oil because it's going to be crucial. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, it helps out my channel, motivates me to make more videos. Uh, I appreciate the views. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Peace out from A-Rod's RC.